Well, it's only 318 yards. With all that water down the right and one nasty bunker down the left, I just need a reliable club that'll get me past that bunker, take it out of play. So for me, it's a three wood with a bit of a draw. Bit of anti right in that one. I've just been told that the green is up and down. What that means is the front half of the green is into the grain, the back half is down the grain. So going long is not an option because the ball just won't stop. What we need is something on the okay. front to give birdie. us that uphill putt. And that is what we've achieved. Now if you look here, the green is shiny, which means from my side it's dark, which means it's into the grain. This little bit on the back corner here, which is dark, is shiny from my side, so that's down the grain. So now you understand what up and down means when your caddy gives you the information. All I've got to do is hit this firm enough coming up the green. Because Cao Kiao is not exactly the fastest greens on the tour. So it needs a bit of a thump to get it there. Oh, Simon. A little bit short, we take our par, thank you very much. This is what I would call an either or sort of hole. This short and with so few hazards I can most certainly hit a driver down here. But I'm happily hitting the little draw with the three wood. So why change that? Puts me in sort of no man's land, 53 yards, it's not a short shot, it's not a full shot seem to remember having a lesson about these before I went on holiday. So I felt quite comfortable over 53, even with a soggy fairway. This leaves me a downhill putt. Now my colleague has just had a downhill putt and steamed it way past and I read a bit too much into that that sometimes happens. I mean, you do have to watch your playing partner's putt to see what's going on. But perhaps I could have done better than I did here. But all we want out of these short par fours is solid pars and the occasional birdie chance. My fault. Job done. A little bit frightened of that. Wedges, so 343 yards, a dog leg left, slightly downhill that goes against my natural shape. What on earth am I doing with driver? This should be three wood. The only thing I can do with driver is get into trouble. And sure enough, we are in trouble. 80 yards, ball above my feet. Very soggy rough, and I've got to try and take some yards off a 50 degree. Oh, I would have been much better off so another 15 or 20 be. yards back. And after something that's really fat, I got a horrible shot. Played it reasonable, got a very funny bounce off the shoulder of the bunker, out to the left. Well, let's not convince ourselves I've done something right just because I hold a putt for par. This hole has been a complete and utter mess. 325 yards and I'm taking driver. Surely this is wrong. The hole goes the same shape as my normal shot. Plus the fairway is so soggy it's not going to run into trouble. Prove a point. This has only gone 235 yards, leaving me 90 left. Certainly, if this was a firm English fairway, then I had every chance of running into one of those bunkers, especially that nasty one on the right. So, what you take off the tee okay. can be determined by the shape of the hole, whether it suits you or not and how soft the ground is. 
and we walk off with a par. This is a classic case of everything going wrong. My caddy wanted me to take driver and I thought with all that sand down there I'm going to be safer. I'm going to be three hybrid. But what I actually did was hit it in the bunker. If I'd taken driver what's the worst thing that could possibly have happened? I could have been one bunker closer to the green making par maybe even a birdie from there you know if you are going to lay back away from the hazards then lay oh, no. back a lot of people talk about laying up laying up suggests getting as close to the hazard as you possibly can which is what i did laying back suggests nice i'm gonna make sure that i don't go in the hazard this could very easily turn into a three putt if I'd been here on my own thanks to a caddy telling me how fast it was I was able to dribble it down and make a respectable bogey not every short par four is a layup the bunker on the right isn't in play the bunker in the middle isn't in play either even my modest 225 yard carry would get over that Ooh, that's aggressive. A bit of healy. Excellent shot. I think I was gonna, but I still will go left of that. If you go down the left side yeah. of that central bunker, it makes the second shot longer. Not taking on the carry puts you hard left or hard right. It makes the second shot longer and harder. I have no idea what club you'd need if you're gonna lay up short of it. And then you're going into a relatively small green with a long club so you do have to take on hazards even on short holes and then with a little help from a caddy you can make a score Three hundred and thirty-two. Two really nasty bunkers down the left. Trees down the right. Caddy's told me to aim straight at the bunker. That's in the right rough. She mentioned nothing about the hazards. That's a little right, so we're a little off the beaten okay, track. But and I've left myself eighty, which isn't exactly ideal, but it is into the breeze. Now the green slopes left to right. So I want to be right of this flag. That is going to give me absolutely the best option for making a par. Don't want any downhill down grain putts. Quick glance of the hole as I go past and then I get my instructions. Now as this is uphill and into the grain, I know it's going to turn a fraction more, especially if I slightly under hit it. So I borrow two balls instead of the instructed one. There we go. Oh, what a putt. Two ball. This is not a hole I normally take driver on. It's normally a five wood at that right hand bunker. Now it is fairly wide once you get over the left hand bunker. So I thought I'd have a go with driver for a change. Especially as there's a bit of wind about. Shit. Got a bit of a fly a lie here. Now if this had been jungle all the way down the left, there is absolutely no way I would have been pulling driver. But sometimes you can take a risk because there isn't too much of a penalty. Putting over the fringe, downhill, down grain. All I've got to do is get this on the green and it will wander its way down there without too much effort. And we make another par. Oh, 